So I just wanted to make a video showing how to download and move your manga onto your Kindle and I think pretty much any e-reader but this is mainly for the Kindle. Um, you're going to need three programs. The first one is Hakuneko which is a downloader, KCC which is uh, the converter uh, to convert your just normal folders into the Mobi fo uh, file type which is what the manga, uh, the Kindle reads and the Calibri which is basically just like a library manager. You can use it for uh, just normal books too, but I just use it for manga. Uh, so you first want to open Hakuneko. Give it a second to load. Um, oh, and for Hakuneko, make sure uh, when you get it, you get the nightly build. Just the most like up-to-date version, pretty much. And uh, once you're here, in the main, you're going to just see this. Uh, you want to go right here to like this plug thing and it says bookmarks just click on that and here is going to be your connectors basically just like the websites that you're going to be using to download like a whole bunch you got all this stuff right here tags if you want to look for something specific uh, but if you already have a website in mind it'll probably work sometimes it won't if it doesn't sometimes they fix it but some websites just don't work like uh, comic k was one that i used a lot i had really high quality manga Usually the highest quality scans that I could find, but it just doesn't work anymore. They changed the API or something. Um, but like the one that I use uh, second most is probably Manga C. It's one that I use a lot. You can use Manga Dex, Manga Fox, whatever you want to use really. Um, so you're going to want to look up like just something. Say I want One Punch Man. You're going to let it load over here and see you can got everything right here. You can organize them by different things. That. There. So this button will download all of them. But I don't want to download all of them right now. It would probably take a long time. So for right now, uh, I just only want to download the... First volume, right? And there's also a way to, um, if you get the link for like a specific chapter, so let's just say here on Manga C, I'm gonna get you Jujutsu Kaisen. And let's just say it doesn't work. For some reason, the connector isn't working. So all you wanna do is get this link right here, copy that, and then paste it right there and it'll it'll pop up oh it won't because of that see it'll pop up so again you just want to copy this link for like the page that has all these chapters and stuff right here and you're just gonna paste it and then this should come up it doesn't work 100 percent of the time but it has a good chance of working and right here you just got the chapters so yeah for whatever reason the connector isn't working just paste it and get it right there But I think it should probably be done downloading. Yeah, and I have them sent to this specific folder. You, uh, if you want to change that up, you just go here. I'll have it in my, um, oh, it's not that. It's right here, Manga Directory. And then here you just change where you want it, what drive you want to send it to. Um, I would also recommend putting the descrambling quality to 100 and the uh, descrambling format to JPEG. That's pretty much all you have to change here. The format and the quality, 100 JPEG. Right, and this should be downloaded. I think I missed one. Yeah, cause 8.5 was part of it too. But yeah, it downloads them pretty fast. Downloads the chapters pretty fast. It's already downloaded. All right, and from here, would uh, if you were to have multiple chapters, uh, I like to organize them into the volumes that they come in. So right here, I'll just put one punch man. And I'll just grab all these 
and put them into there and basically do this for the rest so if you uh, if you have the rest of the chapters uh one punch man volume two three four five blah 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 until you get to the uh recent one right and so you have all just folders of one punch man or whatever manga you have volume one two three four five and after you have all that open up kcc and you're here in kcc uh, so these settings are going to be kind of somewhat different depending on what e-reader you have um but for the main part the ones that you're going to have enabled for anything is going to be manga mode uh the jpeg moz jpeg uh, it's just going to be a smaller file type the moz jpeg <coughs> um stretch and upscale checked and color mode checked pretty much all of these are going to be the same um but it is going to change depending uh the spread splitter what it does is it'll show you like if a if a panel is like uh like a double like a double page panel it'll show you the double page panel uh vertical right so you can see it you just like move your your kindle sideways and then you'll be able to see the full panel and then on the next two pages it's going to be that double page broken up i just like to do that to see the full one and then to like if if i want to see closer into the image I, I just like that you can change that you know it's all personal preference but for the main part it's going to be manga moz jpeg stretch and upscale and color mode and then right here this is going to be whatever uh whatever device you have so i have the paper white 5 the kindle paper white 5 but if you have the kobo um any of these a different type of kindle yeah this is what i have and right here for the kindle specifically you want to make sure it's mobi slash azw3 but if you have like the kobo it's going to be epub but mobi but for paper white 5 it's going to be mobi right and then you're just going to get if you have multiple you just select all of them and drag them over e over here i just have the one so you basically just want to like that and convert it. and what it does is it converts it to the epub first but then it uh converts it to the mobi from the epub and it just deletes the epub after that see right here it's epub just give it a second and this might take a long time depending on how many chapters or how many volumes you're converting um but if it's just one it's pretty fast see here it's creating the mobi it all down here and there we go there's the mobi all right now minimize that so now here's the the library that i was talking about i have all of these pretty much downloaded but basically once you get this moby here you want to drag it over and drop it into uh calibri and again depending if you have a lot it's going to take a little bit longer but if i just have the one you know it's not going to be too long now the only thing with kcc is that it will put the author as KCC. And once you transfer, even if you rename it here, like if you put um, Yusuke Murata, And even if you change the author here in Calibri, once you transfer it over to um, your Kindle, it'll still be KCC. It won't be Yusuke Murata. So that's like the only downside of uh, KCC. It, like it kind of hard codes or hard writes the author to the Mobi, and there's really no way to change it. Um, Calibri won't won't really help you with that. Uh, there is an editor in here. See, like the editor, you but it only supports uh, CBZ, CBR, and CB7, which is like comic book type. You can still use it for manga, but 
uh, Kindle only reads Moby, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much the only bad thing here. Um, so what I like to do in here is edit metadata, edit it in bulk. In here, you'd put the author, but we already put that. So you just type the author there. Uh, the bulk is like if if you have all the volumes, like let's just say volume one through five, and then you edit metadata in bulk. And you got the editing metadata for seven books, and here you'd put um, the author Yusuke Murata for all seven, right? But since we only have the one right now, no, Yusuke Murata. Um, I just like to delete those. It doesn't really change anything. But here in the series, I also like to put. One Punch Man, right? So this series, I can look up just the series One Punch Man, and and it'll pop up. Um, but that's pretty much it here. That's all you want to do really is just the author and put the series. Uh, here I I added a, a custom custom metadata for this, just saying if I've read it or not, and I haven't read this, so I put no for all of them. Um. Just put no and then just apply and then that's it but th this is completely optional basically what you want to focus on is the author and the series just apply okay and then you'll have it right here now once you have that you can plug in your kindle <coughs> all right kindle all right, and now you see you have sent to the device right here. This is your Kindle. You can, uh, oh, th this is a Kindle right here, my bad. So see, you have all, like, One Piece right here, Berserk, Deadman Wonderland, a couple Junji Ito. But you basically, all you want to do is, if you have, like, volume one through six, highlight all of them, and then send to device, or you can just send to device up here. Um... If you have multiple, I guess, devices sent to storage card A or, um, or if I guess you have like a different, like that's not a Kindle that can support a SD card, send it to different SD cards right here. But you basically just want to send to main memory. So let me just make sure I highlight only this. And then just remember, just send to device, send to device up here. But that's basically line, uh, what I like to do. And then once you get that, you get these jobs right here. And it shows you the status of files that you're sending. <clears throat> and see, it, and this also depends on how many. If you have a lot, it's going to take a while. If it's just one, see, it just took like one second or 12 seconds, which is like super fast. And then once you go over here, you'll be able to see... There it is, it's on my my Kindle, and that's pretty much it. Um, just make sure when you're when you're done and you want to disconnect, just make sure you go to device and eject this device, just to um, make sure you don't get any corruption or anything like that. But you just eject this device; it'll eject it. You won't see the device up here anymore, and you can just disconnect your Kindle, and that's pretty much it. Uh, hope this helped.